What if Ouija board movements aren't supernatural, but quantum entanglement between your consciousness and alternate versions of yourself? Scientists theorize human consciousness might exist across multiple quantum states simultaneously. When you touch that planchette, you're not just moving a piece of wood. You're creating quantum entanglement with parallel versions of yourself experiencing completely different realities. That accurate information about dead relatives. You're not contacting spirits. You're accessing alternate timelines where those people are still alive, still talking. Every session doesn't just reveal information. It actively alters probability outcomes across dimensions. The more you play, the more your consciousness begins merging with these other versions. But here's the terrifying part. Not all alternate versions of yourself are friendly. Some lived through darker experiences, made crueler choices. Regular Ouija users report personality changes, increased aggression, unexplained knowledge of violent acts. They're not being possessed by demons. They're slowly becoming their most hostile alternate selves,